Now, Iman is like an ice cube, and the world is like an oven. So what we have to do is, we have this responsibility of carrying this ice cube, and we have to keep it frozen and preserve it, and then present it on the Day of Judgment. This is what basically one way you can think about it. But at the same time, there's this world, there's this fight, there's this world around us which is basically like on fire. And anytime we expose ice to the wrong environment, obviously it's going to melt. So what we have to recognize is that in the process of preserving this iman, which is like an ice cube, we are not independent, we're dependent. We're not independent, we're dependent. And this is something that we often forget. Everyone in this room, doesn't matter who you are, everyone in this room is absolutely dependent to preserve their ice. What do I mean by that? What I mean is that we are dependent on the environment. Okay? The for example, we're not going to survive if we don't come to the masjid. If you're not coming to the masjid, which is the one of which is one of the very few places in this life where the environment is cool and it's like a freezer and it allows your your iman to gel together again and to reform into that frozen ice cube. If we don't regularly come into into that environment, we're gone. We're dependent. We're not independent. We don't survive independently away from the source of the deen, you know, away from the key places of the deen. Without that environment, we are gone. So to make these assumptions, right, that this iman was given to me by my parents and so automatically it's going to go to my children, uh-uh, that doesn't work that way. It does not work that way. We are dependent to preserve this iman. Similarly, we're, de we're dependent on the company that we keep. Look, if you keep the company of people who sin all the time, those people, when every time they sin, they're producing a fire. In fact, Hazrat Abu Bakr radiallahu an, he used to announce to the people at the time of Isha, come extinguish the fire that you created under your own feet. Meaning that as a human being, people make mistakes. And when we make mistakes, those create a sort of, sort of mini fire underneath our own feet. And so what happens is when we come to the masjid, we extinguish that fire, but if you hang around with people who have no concern to extinguish that fire, then those sparks eventually become big flames. And those big flames produce tremendous heat. Now what happens is then you go and you hang around that group of people, and here you are with this small little piece of ice, and you're hanging around 10 people on fire. So what's going to happen? You're going to melt. You're going to melt. So what are you? You are dependent on your company.